Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a crucial topic for all developers out there. Google Play account suspensions. Getting your Google Play console account suspended can be a major setback, especially if you rely on your apps for revenue. But don't worry, we are here to help you understand why it happens, how to prevent it, and what steps you can take if it does. Let's talk about why accounts get suspended in the first place. Google has very strict policies in place to ensure that the apps on their platform are safe and high quality. Violating these policies, whether intentionally or not, can lead to suspension. Here are some common reasons for suspension. Number one is policy violations. Policy violations include content policy violation, spam and minimum functionality, and also privacy and security concerns. For example, if your app contains data such as hate speech, violence, or duplicate content from other apps, or it uses some insecure ways or misuse of user data, then your account can be suspended. Number two is intellectual property infringement. This is related to copyright and trademark violations. Using content in apps that infringe on other copyrights, trademarks or intellectual property rights. The third is deceptive behavior. So deceptive behavior includes impersonation, pretending to be another person or organization, or any misleading claims. Misleading claims mean providing false information about the app or its functionality. Number four is fraudulent activity. So it can be billing fraud or any fake reviews and ratings that you pay for. So these type of activities can result in account suspension. The other reason is developer policy violations. So uh, these are related to repeated violations consistent failure to adhere to Google Play developer program policy after receiving warnings or suspensions. For example, you submit an app and it was rejected due to some policy violation. Then you submit the app again, then it again gets rejected. So if you submit app again and again and it is rejected, it means you are making repeated violations which may result in the suspension of your account. You also need to consider monetization and ads policy. So it should also not violate any policy. The number six is malware and harmful behavior. Malware is like apps that contain malware, Trojan viruses or other malicious software that misuse user data or steal user data, steal some device info or something like this. The number seven is account misrepresentation. Providing false or misleading information during account setup or app submission. Make sure when you submit the app, you provide the data which your app covers. Uh, you write the description of the app include those functionalities which are also present in the app if the functionality is not present in the app and you write in the description it will consider as a misrepresentation uh, account misrepresentation also covers multiple account violations creating multiple accounts to 
evade suspension or termination is also considered misrepresentation which results in the suspension of your account the last one is non compliance with legal requirements failing to comply with applicable laws regulations and industry standards may result in the suspension of your google account so these are the common reasons we have covered them and now we move to the next step which is what should we do after termination so if your account is suspended then what you can do to recover your account or to make an appeal so if your account is terminated first of all we will submit an appeal for restoring the account the first step is review the reason for termination so google typically provides a reason for the termination of developer account review the email or notification you received from the google that explains why your account was terminated you will get an email understanding the reason for the termination can help you address the issue in your appeal so they will tell you the reason why your app is rejected or your account is suspended you need to review this reason the second step is submit an appeal if you believe that your account was terminated in error or if you have resolve the issues that led to the termination you can submit an appeal to google to submit an appeal you can usually follow the instructions provided in the termination notification or contact google play developer account support team the third one is provide relevant information when you submit an appeal you should provide all the necessary relevant information in your appeal so that google can review this and get your account recovered this could include explanation of the issues that led to the termination steps you have taken to address those issues and any other relevant details that can help demonstrate your commitment to complying with google policies okay the last step is wait for a response after submitting your appeal you will need to wait for a response from google the review process can take some time so it's important to be patient so it can usually take up to 5 business days or more but they reply quickly and they will let you know their decision okay so the most important point is how to recover how to create a new account after termination please note that if your account is suspended by google once then if you create a new account after the termination your account will be suspended again it will be considered as a repeated violation and your account will always be terminated so but you can bypass this i will know you the procedure to create a new account even after your account is terminated you will be able to create a new account and you can publish your apps again by making some compulsory changes so there will be no problem the first step is create a new unique fake identity so first of all you need to create a fake identity you can use other person account or other person details but you should be alert for a few things by using others account first of all never connect your suspended google account details with your new google account never log in both account in the same devices and if possible not even send or receive email to a suspended account You also need to create an account in fresh device from where you your suspended account was not created or operated maybe from your friend's PC 
never log in from your device from where your suspended account created or login you should not log in new account on a device where your account was suspended you also need to use a unique credit card to register your account also you should never connect any google service or suspended account with the new account number 5 you need to use a new device or pc for developing apps uh, this is not compulsory uh, when you use a new device or pc for developing apps uh, uh, it is not compulsory but uh, for caution it is recommended that when you develop apps or code apps you should use a new device not the old device where your account was suspended and the number 6 is never use your old and mob account related to a suspended account so overall if you want to create a new account and avoid termination you also need to prepare everything new new unique fake identity new fresh device new credit card basically you need to act as a new person you are not related to the previous person so in this way you can make a new account and avoid termination so these are the points you must keep in mind before creating your account if you need any help feel free to contact me comment your queries i will answer them thank you and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get latest updates on tech coding and programming